another village destroyed. Mm, we better leave before the air kills us, too. Okay! A load of light bombs will put them to sleep every time. That's the secret, my spunky little princess. Good. There he goes, back to the toxic jungle. Just like Sandra asked him. What strength she has. Almost magical. Thanks, my young warrior. Let's move on, boys. <laughs> While I've grown old, you've grown beautiful. You rescued me just in time. You ride the wind like a master. <laughs> I forgot about my little friend. I rescued him from the claws of a mighty gadfly. I thought he was a child, so I shot the gadfly and right. Whoop. Be careful, Zandra. He's a feisty little devil. These creatures can be nasty. Don't let him bite you. <laughs> of course, Zandra. What a sweet sight. <laughs> How is everyone in the Valley of the Wind, my little princess? There's something wrong, isn't there? King Zeal? Why, he's always been so healthy, is it? I'm sorry, Zandra. If I'd known, I'd have come sooner. One of these days, I'm going to learn to fly. It's a lot faster than you two. <laughs> Guilty, I'm afraid. What are you doing up there, Axel? <laughs> I don't laugh much anymore. The world's become too grim. But, King Seal, when I come to your valley, I feel relaxed. It's getting worse. Two more countries in the south were swallowed up by the toxic jungle. It's spreading faster than ever before. It's causing starvation and unrest. And worst of all, war. Why can't the rest of the world be peaceful like this valley? Oh. Old friend, you still talk too much. I think dreams like that belong to children like you. I'm too old to believe in fairy tales and legendary characters who solve all the problems of the world. But the young should never give up their dreams and hopes. The future of the world lies with you. What's going on? Oh, that's a Temecuman cargo ship. They're circling back. Axel, look at that. During my travels, I heard rumors. Rumors of a creature from the ancient world that had been uncovered in the country of Placida. A fire demon. They were petrified, turned into cold stone fossils long ago. But one of them didn't die and has been sleeping underground for a thousand years. Temecula's violent army raided Placida and then captured Princess Listel and this sleeping demon. Take my advice and listen. Make just one move and you're dead, my friend. This knife will cut through your armor like butter. What kind of monsters are you, Temeculans? The people of this peaceful valley tried to save your spaceship last night. Yet while they're burying your dead, you repay them with a murderous attack, killing their women, their children, and their king. Sandra, stay calm. If we try anything, all our people will be killed. We must stay alive and wait our chance. <clears throat> It's all right, you tried your best. Yes, if you'll promise to throw that fire demon into the deepest part of the acid lake and go home with your soldiers, let's have peace. No more senseless killing. The giant gorgons? Sorry, but we're not getting in league with the devil. I'll do my best, the valley's in your hands. Now that you've had time to think about it, are you ready to surrender? Their eyes are changing back to blue. Oh.